As soon as someone lands on your website or your landing page, the question is how are you going to convert them into a lead? How are you going to indoctrinate them to make sure that they become high quality leads? And also at the same time, what is the main asset that we're going to give them in exchange for them to say, hey, I'm interested in learning more about your business, your product or services, and so we can be able to get the result, result that I want or overcome the problem that I have. So that's one of the main things we want to decide is what is the multiple different assets that you can use. And I want to give you the three highest converting assets that has worked for me and also for my clients across multiple different industries, regardless of the product or service that you sell or the target audience that you're going for. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the exact funnel templates and assets, hundreds of different things you can use to be able to convert your target audience's traffic on your website into high quality leads for your business. So that's gonna be at the end, but for now, let me walk you through the process. The first highest converting main asset that you can use to be able to generate more leads in your business is the Ultimate Resource Kit. The Ultimate Resource Kit is really one of the best ones. Because if you go on DMU, for example, the Digital Market University on bensonson.com, you can see that for every single result, whether you want more traffic, you want more leads, you want more sales, or you want to learn more about copywriting or digital advertising, whatever category you want to focus on the result you want to achieve, you're able to get the ultimate resource kit on the page at the very bottom or through an exit pop-up on the site. So that's what I'm offering. I'm giving you the consolidation of the resources, the guides, the videos, everything you need to know to be able to be very successful with whatever result you want to achieve or the 12 core digital marketing categories that really drive the results for any business. The second highest converting asset that you can use for your business is what I call the video series plus the template or guide. The reason why this works so well is because videos is such a powerful way to instantly build trust, communication, and having the likeness and build that affinity with people that are watching the videos. This is why I'm doing this video for you right now. At the same time, why templates and guides work so well is because people do not want to do any work. People want templates so that they can make their lives easier, save them time, save them money, save them all these different things so they can just plug and play it into their business. If you remember at the start of this video, what did I say? I said at the end of this video, you're gonna be getting the exact templates, resources, guides, and the highest converting funnels that you can use for your business to generate thousands of quality leads every single month. That's why I'm leading with it, because templates, you can plug and play, you can plug and play the funnels, plug and play the difference of assets that you can use, and I'm giving it to you so you can just use it for the business. That's one of the most powerful ways is because these templates save time, they save money. You wanna always keep in mind that people are inherently lazy. People want to just push a button and be able to get results instantly or overcome a problem. So you want to play to this specific human behavior through the templates and also video series. When you combine these two, they're extremely powerful. Now, when you go on sunstrategy.com, you can see an example of this. Back then when I did a webinar to a few hundred uh, business owners and entrepreneurs, teaching them how to be able to grow their business online through my nine pillars, I used a webinar that I broke down into eight to nine different parts, and then I gave them templates along with it. Sun Strategy, you can see I give them from pillar one, video series, plus the templates, plus guides, and a detailed walkthrough using that specific thing. So you can see that's an example of one asset that you can give. Of course, you're gonna record some videos or you can use existing videos, and even you can go on Fiverr or Upwork.com to be able to get someone to put together these templates, these guides, these basic PDFs that you can give them in exchange to be able to convert them into a quality lead. Now, this third highest converting main asset you can use for your business is works really well. It takes some time to put together, but at the same time, it's something that consistently puts you ahead of the competition and be able to generate a ton of leads and adds a ton of value to your target audience. So this specific one is called a website tool, quiz, or analyzer. So for example, when you go on my website, bensonstun.com, you can actually see that at the very bottom, I have a growth tools that I'm adding constantly every single time. First growth tool that I have is I ask you a question. How much money are you losing from underperforming digital marketing? Is it thousands, hundreds of thousands, and what can you do to fix it? So there you go on the growth tools page, you can see I have this quiz set up. You answer in a few simple informations and I tell you how much potential money that you're losing from your revenue, from customers, and usually most of the time you're losing a ton of money. So you can go on there, you can use that tool and discover how much money you are losing. So this is one example. Another example is let's say you're a SaaS business. You go on HubSpot.com, you can see that they actually have a tool where you can get the free CRM, a free marketing automation tool for you to use also to collect leads from your business 
as well. Now they do this because they give it for free because it gets people to get like a, a taste of what their CRM and what their software does. And then they expand and obviously sell you to their full software as a service for every business. So they lead with this is extremely powerful. It's a very good free tool, but they generate a ton of leads and a ton of business from this one thing, which is why they push it so much in all their promotions. The next thing, for example, that you can do, you can go on, let's say, quicksprout.com. Quicksprout allows you to analyze their websites and be able to know your SEO, your backlinks, what you should do for the content optimization, if you should do more of the keyword rankings and all these things on the SEO side. So there's a ton of different tools that you can use and there's websites that already, some of them are using this. This is gonna be a fairly competitive differentiator when you're using this to be able to generate leads for your business is coming up with some kind of simple tool, simple analyzer for your target audience over through their problems. So if you're in a fitness space, for example, you can come up with a tool that calculates how much uh, times that they, should, they should be working out, maybe some meal plan calculators. If let's say you are selling e-commerce with beauty products, you can say here, or then what are the core uh, things that you need to be able to use your makeup tutorial uh, every day or something like that, or whatever tool you wanna use for your target audience, you can build that tool, keep it very simple to use, that's the key thing. You wanna make sure that it's not some detailed, overwhelming thing that they have to enter a ton of information into, but something that's simple, step by step, it's clear, and it gives them a very good result or overcome a problem that they want to uh, move away from. So that's what you wanna do. The third highest converting asset is using a website tool, an analyzer, or something like a quiz that is able to focus on dealing with your target audience and giving them the result that they want by just entering a few pieces of information. Now you might be thinking in your mind, Benson, this is gonna take so long for me to be able to create these assets, the ultimate resource kit, the website tool, analyzer is gonna take some development, or it's gonna take some kind of software to make this. And also at the end of the video series that record some videos and all this stuff, don't be overwhelmed. You can go on Fiverr, you can go on Upwork to have people create these assets for you. You can do a simple video recording using your iPhone. You can produce these well-produced videos and just say what it is, add value to your target audience. Don't focus on perfection, just get it done. Perfection is the enemy of growing a business online and being successful. You wanna make sure you just get it done. Make that consistent action over time and you'll be able to produce these assets. Another thing you can do is you're able to combine these assets together to amplify the conversion rate for you. So what do I mean by that? So for example, at, on a website, when someone's using a website tool, after they go through on bensun.com, for example, they answer the quiz, I actually offer them to say, if you want the answer, the report to you, plus you want the ultimate resource kit, then just put in your name and your email. So you can keep it, you can amplify, you combine these assets together to make them even more powerful. So whenever someone finishes your uh, tool on your website or analyzer or a quiz, you can say, I'm gonna give you the answers to what you just answered. At the same time, I'm gonna give you an ultimate resource kit, or I'm gonna give you the video series plus the templates. So you're gonna give them so much value because that's what your competitors are not doing. You wanna make sure you're giving them so much value that your competitors are being like overwhelmed. They're like, I cannot give this much value. You wanna be the one that's a step ahead of them. So that's why, for example, I created the Digital Market University to give you some behind the scenes look is because I know that there's a ton of people that are charging thousands of dollars every single time to sell a course or through a membership site like $97 a month to be able to get access to what I'm teaching people for free. I'm essentially taking exactly what they're doing right now, charging people thousands of dollars for and not giving as good of content, some of them, and I'm just giving you for free as assets adding value and everything. So that's a behind the scenes look. What you can do is you can take what your competitor is doing that's costing them money that people are charging, that are charging for people to be able to get access to, give it to your target audience for free, and you can generate traffic and you can generate leads. So that's a secret tip for you right there. Now, as you're putting in these assets together using Fiverr or Upwork, very inexpensively, 50 to $100 to set up these assets, I wanna give you in the meantime, while this is happening, if you wanna be able to build an asset that's easy and simple that you can just launch with tomorrow, is what you can do is you can go on YouTube, and you can type in your industry, you type in your keywords, what your target audience is looking for, the results or the problems, compile these videos together, and then you can go on Google and you can type in your industry again, or the product or service that you have, plus your target audience and the problem or, or result. Then you're able to find a list of so many different resources you can just compile together and combine it into the ultimate resource kit. You can give credit obviously to, even if it's your competitors or other complimentary websites, you can compile these together and say, this is everything you need to know about doing this for your target audience to solve the problem or achieve the results that they want. 
And then you can focus on those things and then you put it together, give them credits and you can get launching tomorrow with a main asset that you can release to generate leads from your website or from the paid media campaigns and these lead gen funnels that you are running. So that's one of the easy ways to do it using YouTube, using Google. There's so much content already. You don't have to create anything new. Just be the person that consolidates it together and an offer to your target audience in exchange at the point of time that they want to be able to become a quality lead in your business. Now, there are three core critical questions you want to ask yourself before you even decide to convert your traffic and the people that go on your website into a high quality lead. The first question you want to be asking yourself is, is the main asset that you're giving them, is it valuable enough in exchange for them to commit and say, let's start communicating? Is it worth it for them to put their name and their email and give it to you, and give it to your business and start the email process or the communication process with them? That's the first question. The second question you want to ask yourself is, is there enough trust? Is there enough credibility that you've established before you ask them for their become a lead in your business to give them your name and your email? Is do you have the established credibility and the trust on the page and through the asset and through the, throughout the entire website that they are on? That is the second question. The next question you want to ask yourself is the number of form fields that you're asking in exchange for them to become a lead and opt into your website for the asset that you're giving them is how many form fields are you giving them? If you're asking for their name and email and are you asking for even more information that's sensitive because the more form fields that you have, the less leads that you're going to generate. By the same time, in most cases, you're gonna be generating a high quality lead because they're willing to take the time to fill out that form. On the flip side, if you generate, if you just use a simple name and email, which you see across the web, and it's the one I recommend you start with, and then you start segmenting them in the marketing automation process that I'll go into later in other videos and also later on, is that you can focus on using name and email, collect that, and then you'll be able to get a much more leads and be able to indoctrinate them later on. You wanna capture that first. That's really the most important thing. So that's the first thing. Is it sensitive enough? How many form fields are you asking? Do you have the trust and the credibility? Is the asset worth it enough for them to opt in? All these three critical parts, you wanna make sure that it's smooth and it gives clarity, direction, and certainty. The reason why is because if you do not have clarity on these three things, then you're gonna add a lot of friction and resistance between you and your target audience for them to convert into a lead. You don't want to have more friction and a resistance, you want to reduce that and you want to increase the conversions. So you want to make sure these three critical factors are clear and you want to ask these questions about every part of the conversion process on your website when traffic is going on to convert them into a quality lead. Now that you have so many main assets that you can use for your business to be able to convert the people that go on your site into quality leads from the ultimate resource kit, the video series plus the templates and the website tools and analyzers or the quizzes, what are the pages that we're gonna to use to be able to convert them into quality leads? What is that step? What is the front end lead gen funnels that are proven to work for a businesses? Because I wanna give you two right now that you can use. Now let's take a look at Jay Abraham, who's a private partner, a client, and a mentor as well. The page that we've set up for him on abraham.com. So if you take a look at the page, now for those of you that don't know, Jay Abraham is one of the preeminent business growth experts in the world. He's a strategist. He's worked with so many Fortune 500 companies. He's generated $21.7 billion, as you can see on the screen. Now one of the great things about this is you can see this is just a very simple landing page that we set up. You can see that there's the headline here, the Abraham 101, Secrets to Creating Exponential Business Growth from the $21.7 billion man. We have the pre-release of the Abraham 101, which is a new ebook that he's coming out with. You can see that it has the main points. It talks about the book. It has four main things that they're gonna get when they opt in. It has the name and the email, as you can see, and it's also got a green call to action button. And then below, we've got Damon John from Shark Tank giving a testimonial. We've got Tony Robbins giving a testimonial of Jay. And then we say, all they have to do is enter their name and email, and then they're gonna be able to get access to the Abraham 101. So a very simple landing page, very simple page that you can just go on, you can see to be able to convert people. So this is the, one of the highest converting pages because it's so simple, it's so straightforward. It has a lot of key elements on here. Build trust. It gives them a very valuable asset because it's a new book that has never before been seen. It has some call to actions and it's very simple and you can go through and it doesn't lose track of your eyes. It's very clear on what we're giving them and at the same time, it's giving them one of the best assets that they can have. The second highest converting lead gen funnel front page that you wanna be able to set up 
is one that I'm using on sunstrategy.com. So when you take a look at sunstrategy.com, you can see that right at the top, I'm using a lot of social proof. I say join more than 10,000 plus entrepreneurs who have created more growth, sales, and profits through the nine digital strategic pillars that has generated my companies and clients multi-millions. You can see I lead with a video. And the bottom, I have my Facebook button that has 105K people following. So I'm building social proof and credibility. At the same time, you can see I say the nine week training starts in six hours and 13 minutes. So I'm building scarcity. It's gonna to end today and it's real scarcity. The next thing that's gonna happen, you can see is a simple description that I want them to watch the video first on the right where the opt-in is. And then I give them some more social proof. I say this is what, learn what, why, and how companies have paid 50 to $100,000 a month to learn from me. I say the full name and email. We have the button that's highlighting, it's kind of glowing a bit green. The reason why it's green is also because green is proven in people's minds when we're driving every day from day to day during the car. When we see a green light, that means go, that means take action. So that's why the button's green because we're playing to that psychological element that's always in our mind, especially if you've been driving cars. The next thing is you can see below is just giving them introduction into what they're gonna get. What is in the video series? What are the templates? What are the frameworks? And then you can see that there's a middle part I'm saying, I'm addressing what's the catch, you know? People are gonna be thinking, what is, why is Benson doing this for entrepreneurs? And there's a simple video of me doing this. I explain why I don't charge for my content and never will. And at the bottom you can see there's more explanations and then I go into a brief intro about who I am if they don't know, meet me, and then has a video background from episode one of Behind the Success. And then it goes into just a call to action button that's blue and they can click on it and it pulls them all the way back up to be able to opt in here. Now what happens when you try to leave, what's great about this page is it has a exit pop-up. So it goes, it has a pop-up, it says before you leave, wait, take this with you. It has the image of what it is, the process, and it talks about again the exact roadmap, three key bullet points. It says the name and it has the email and they can click and tap here to again build a sustainable, long-lasting, thriving company online with me. So this is for example another high converting template page that you can use for your own business. This is one that gives more details, it's also simple, it's clear to the point and you'll also get access to this template at the end of this video. Now, both of those pages you can build through two different ways. You can use ClickFunnels, which is one of the easiest ways you can go on. It's a low monthly cost. You get up, you can set up, and be able to produce both of the pages that I just showed you from Jay and from my own as well. And the second way you can do it is you can hire a developer or designer on Upwork.com, spend $100 or $200 very inexpensively to have someone build these pages for you. But if you already have a team of designers and developers, just show them the templates I'm gonna give you at the end of this video and just have them build it out. It doesn't have to be super fancy or beautiful. The most important thing is that you keep it simple and clean. Simple and clean is what provides clarity and also it provides direction and certainty and why they should opt in their name and email and become a lead for your business, a high quality one. Now, after we've been able to get them through the first landing page or the second landing page, or whatever landing page you're using to convert them into a lead, one of the core steps that they're gonna to move towards is the thank you page. Now, this is one of the core pages is because one of the ones that you wanna to do to be able to convert them even more and build that relationship is don't use a simple page where it just says, hey, thank you for opting in or whatnot, and then that's it, like simple text on a screen with a white blank web page. You wanna record a video. You can do this through your mobile phone or you can do this through a camera to keep it professional like the one I'm doing right now. And you can just say four core things. The first core thing you wanna do is you wanna thank them. The second thing is you wanna tell them how you can help them. The third thing is you wanna tell them about your business and your story. And the fourth one is we wanna set the right expectations. Now one of the final deciding factors is that you're able to convert traffic into quality leads if you notice, we've covered now the main asset that you need to have. You have the landing page. Now we're not talking about the website, which is a huge conversion asset. It's your main central hub. I'm gonna cover that in the next video. But for now, we're gonna focus on just landing pages, your front end lead funnels, and how to convert them through that. You can see that we have these two pieces, and the next core deciding factor you can see from both parts is the copywriting. This is the deciding factor of whether or not you're gonna get a high conversion or a low conversion. The copywriting itself is essentially what are the words are we using to be able to convince them to give us their contact information to move to the next step. If you notice on the Jay Abraham page, you can see that a lot of the deciding stuff is not just the page itself. What made the page really good other than the visual is the copywriting. The headline, the subheadline, the bullet points, the description of it, the call to action button, what was in the buttons itself. Those are the core deciding factors. Even on my own page on sunstrategy.com, you can see that there's copy. On Digital Marketing University on bensonsun.com, you can see we lead with copy. 
Copy is the deciding factor when what people read and also what you're seeing through the video and what I'm saying to you is all based on copywriting. So you can see that the copywriting, you wanna make sure that it's very on point, which is what we're gonna focus on defining for you. Now let's break this down into five core elements for copy that you must have on your landing pages and your main assets to really be able to increase the conversions and have high quality lead. The first deciding factor for the copy is your headline. And I have another video that I'll link here to watch what are the five highest converting headlines that you can use, formulas that you can just plug and play. But the first deciding factor is your headline. It's the first thing that people are gonna see and read. And based on that, it determines whether or not they're gonna move and read the next step, or even deciding if they're gonna convert or opt into whatever asset that you're giving them. The second one is what is your sub headline? What is the second point on the page? What are we leading them with? So what that is the sub headline is the one that comes after the headline. The third one is what are your bullet points? What are the three bullet points and you wanna write this based on a few things. You wanna write this based on the time objection that people have, the results that they wanna achieve, the problems that they wanna overcome, and then additional reasons why they should opt in for your specific asset that you're giving them. That's the third one. The fourth one is we wanna have a compelling reason description of what we're giving them and why they should opt in. That's a core element you wanna have. It's a brief two to three or four sentences that describe and give them a compelling reason to opt in. The fifth one you wanna have is ultimately a call to action. You wanna make sure that we're they're giving them a clear direction on how they can get the lead and become able to get access to the asset that we're giving them. So those are the five core elements. And if you take a look at the Jay Abraham page, you take a look at my page, they have all five of these core elements as the main thing that's a deciding factor whether or not they're gonna opt in or not. Here's a secret tip. What you can do if you wanna find the right landing pages with the right copy and the assets that they're giving, you go on google.com you type in your industry, or you type in your product or service, and then you type in landing pages, or you type in opt-in pages, or you type in squeeze pages. These are all different names for the same thing. Essentially a conversion page that gets someone to go on and then be able to opt in the name and email or whatever form fields that they're asking for information to convert into a lead. So that's a simple way for you to get some inspiration, some examples, but what you should do is start with the two templates, the two landing pages that I've walked you through in this video because those are the simple ones that you can set up and they're the ones that have converted highest across multiple industries, across multiple different products and target audiences. But using the Google and be able to type in all these different things will give you inspiration on different industries and how your specific competitors are building landing pages, and building these conversion pages to be able to get leads for their business. Now you don't know their conversion rates, but what you can do is you can get some inspiration for you or your team to be able to build these different pages out. Now, once we decide on the main asset and we've got the lead gen front end funnels that we're using to be able to convert them into a lead, and we've got powerful copywriting to be able to increase the conversion rate, the third core step that's gonna happen, which is the most important part of the process, is how we're gonna get these leads into our marketing automation platform so we can start the communication process with them. Now, there's multiple different automations and sequences that I'll be teaching you much more in depth in a later video, so look forward to that. But for now, make sure that you're using ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft to be able to collect the leads that are coming through these lead gen forms and also delivering the assets. But we're gonna build out that piece afterwards. This focus of this video is to help you determine what is the asset, what are the high converting funnel pages, what are the high converting assets, and also what is the high converting copy that you should be using on these pages to, and convert the traffic that goes on these pages and get the highest conversion for your leads. What's great about this is that once you're able to enter into the marketing automation, we start the communication. That's where we start cultivating the trust, the value, the relationships with the target audience. They've taken a vote of confidence in your business. They've decided, I wanna opt in, I wanna learn more about you, what you do, how you can help me. This is where you can really shine in your business and cultivate and warm them up. Because at the start, they're cold. What we mean by cold is that they're a cold lead, cold audience. They don't know anything about you, they were checking you out, decide to opt in on the asset. Now they're in your system, we wanna warm up, warm them up, so they ultimately are warmed up so they become a lifelong customer in your business. Now as usual, you've already gotten a ton of valuable points to be able to generate high quality leads from your business through the assets, through the lead gen funnels, and through the copy. But I always wanna over deliver in these videos and give you a ton more value, so here's a secret tip. One of the things you can do to create endless amount of assets is you wanna keep in mind that people consume in different ways. What do I mean by that? So people wanna watch videos, some people wanna to listen to audio, some people wanna read content, they don't wanna watch a video. So what you can do is you can basically be able to repurpose 
the assets that you have starting from the top to the bottom. Everything that we do, for example, on the DMU, Digital Marketing University on Bentasun.com, is we always start with the video at the top. We start the video and then we repurpose it into content, we repurpose it into guides, we take the content, we consolidate it, we pull it apart. So what we're able to do from one piece of content that we create, we're able to pull multiple different types of assets. So you do this from the video at the top, you can pull audio, put it into a podcast, you can take the text, put it into a creative post, you can take a consolidation of all your posts and can put it into a guide. Or you can take a consolidation of your audios and turn it into an audio series. You can do so many different things if you start with video at the top. So this is a secret tip. Now, as promised, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the exact funnel templates, the exact main assets, and 50 to 100 other assets that you can use for your business in an expanded post on the Digital Marketing University on bensonsum.com. It's gonna be a link here. You can click, go directly to that post. It'll walk you through step by step, give you the templates, for both the main assets and also for the lead gen funnels and also some copywriting formulas that you should put on your pages. It'll give you plug and play for your business, make it easy, you save time, you save money. Now what I want you to do next is I want you to comment below, I want you to let me know what is the one main asset that you wanna build for your own business? Or if you have any other questions on this entire process, comment below. Just let me know, I'll get back to you on whatever question you have and the asset that you decide on using to convert your traffic into leads. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to like this piece of content, like this video, let me know because I'm gonna be creating more of these videos for you. I want you to know and let me know too that you like this piece of content by liking the video, so that's important. The final thing I want you to do is I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be in my face right here. I want you to click on it, I want you to subscribe for videos every single week on how you can start and grow your business online successfully through traffic, leads, through sales, through all the different 12 core drivers of digital marketing online. Now, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.